Do you or someone close to you struggle with addiction? There are many types of addiction. Addiction to opioids, stimulants, depressants, nicotine, and alcohol. Today, over 18 million people in the U.S. struggle with alcohol addiction. It doesn't only affect the person addicted to the substance, but the people around them. What? Mom, can you go play with us? No, go find something else to do. Play with your brother. Although there are a few benefits to alcohol consumption, like a small glass of red wine has cardiovascular benefits like lowering bad cholesterol, keeps the heart healthy, and reduces risk of cancer, there are more disadvantages compared to advantages. Some other advantages to a glass of red wine, aside from the cardiovascular advantages, include helps treating the common cold, keeps the memory sharp, reduces risk of depression. Long-term ingestion of alcohol can lead to serious neurological and mental disorders, resulting in seizures. Alcohol also plays a role in nutritional and vitamin deficiencies, which can lead to liver failure, polyneuritis, and cardiomyopathy, and so many more. Yeah. You may be afraid, embarrassed, or too financially unstable to attend rehab. Alcoholics Anonymous and psychotherapy may not be the answer to help fight your addiction either. You still have the fight in you to help you end alcohol addiction. Mom, wake up. Wake up. Grandma, my mom is not waking up. I need help. Shaylee. Shaylee. Hey, it's come on, it's cold outside. Let's go in. Shaylee, it's time to give this up. I think you need to get help. You need to realize that you are on the verge of losing your children. I've tried everything. I don't know what else to do anymore. We can go to the hospital. We can make an appointment with the doctor. I've heard that there are medications that can help people that have tried other things and had no success. Will you go? I'll try it. Okay, I will come with you. Okay. I'll give you all the support you need. Okay. You're right, I think it's time I need to change. Good for you, I'm proud of you. Hi, I'm Teresa, I'm gonna be your nurse today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Shaylee, 12699. All right, so we've already talked to the doctor about different kinds of medication and we were thinking Dislopram, more commonly known as pain abuse. It may be what you need to fight in your corner. Do you want to hear more about it? Yes, I do. Consumption can affect the way your liver metabolizes carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And abuse works by altering the metabolism of alcohol consumption. It is not a cure for alcoholism, but can also lessen the desire to consume it. That's exactly what I need. Okay, Antabuse is a daily oral medication. According to drugs.com, one bottle of 100 tablets with 250 milligrams per tablet costs around $925. This is the bottle. Um, some information you need to know before starting Dislofram includes not drinking for at least three to four days after starting the Dislofram treatment. Avoid ingesting or applying products containing alcohol, such as mouthwash, cough syrup, aftershave, cologne, and hand sanitizer. You must wear a medical bracelet as little as seven milliliters of alcohol can cause acetaldehyde syndrome with severe side effects including vasodilation over your entire body, hypotension, orthostatic syncope, chest pain, intense throbbing of head and neck, pulsating headache, sweating, uneasiness, weakness, vertigo, blurred vision, confusion, nausea, copious vomiting, thirst, and difficulty breathing. These side effects can last from anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours. The potential for acetaldehyde syndrome may persist up to two weeks after discontinuation of dislopram. Antibuse cannot be administered unless you have abstained from alcohol for at least 12 hours. Antibuse will require monitoring for a liver function test to detect hepatotoxicity before administration, the following 10 to 14 days after administration, and every six months while you're on. Okay, I'm ready to try it. I'll try anything. Okay, I will go get um, a lab kit. Have you? I haven't drank alcohol in the past 24 hours. Okay. I'll go get a lab kit. Hey, how are you? I'm 
good. How are you? Good. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Shaylee, twelve six ninety nine. All right. So how have you been? I've been pretty good. Um, I know this isn't a cure, but it has definitely been what I needed. I've been way more energetic and more active at home. I've been able to play with the kids and do things that they want to do and not just be to myself and ignoring them like I had been. So it's been really good. That's good to hear. I got your liver test back and everything looks good. Okay. Um, we can make another appointment today for in six months. Okay. Unless there's another problem, you can call again. So okay, you great. Thank you so much. Get help today. Contact your local healthcare provider to schedule an appointment today.